Look at my granny panties. Got some greenies. Goodbye. Skip to my loom, my darling. Hi guys, it's Lou. Welcome back to another What $100 Buys You video, where we go to some of our favorite stores, spend $100, and see what we got for it. So today's $100 haul is Charlotte Ruse. Now I'll tell you how I got there because I think the store itself is a little bit random for me. I was looking on Fashion Nova because many of you had requested that I spend $100 there. Well, I looked and looked and looked. And you guys, as much as all the girls look fantastic, I simply don't think that the style of clothes is appropriate for someone of my maturity. Maturity, I'm mature. Their waists are this big and their butts are this big and my butt is this big and my waist is this big. Nonetheless, I promise that I will try, but when I went on Charlotte Ruse, I saw a lot of similar stuff. And what I ended up with was a lot of bottoms and one dress. So without further ado and further yapping out of me, here it is. Here it is. And yeah, Charlotte Ruse is not that age appropriate for me either, but just like with Fashion Nova, I think I can find stuff that works for me. Why do these look so giant? Oh, because they're girlfriend jeans. Yeah, I bought some jeans. Big surprise. So I guess we'll start with those because those are on the top of the box. They look big and short. Let's give them a whirl. Okay, they're high-waisted, which that's okay, but this is, I'm hot, it's hot. Much better. Let's have a look at these jeans. They are very not flattering boyfriend or girlfriend jeans. These are size nine. My butt never looks good in jeans, so just be warned. And there it is again. What's going on here? You know, the front might be okay, but the back says no. Don't do it, Lou. Total mom jeans. Ava loves mom jeans. I already went through the mom jeans thing. So let's try the pants on. These are Palazzo pants, linen and rayon. And here those are. So let's give them a whirl. These need to go. All right, so these are size medium. I'm just a medium girl. I'm afraid they would be very shrinky. What, you know, what the hell with my butt? Again, not the most flattering pants. They always look so cute on the models. The models. I have to look in a big mirror by. I'll have to think about these. I like the color. I feel like they're really fun spring summer pants and they are long enough for me, which is normally not the case. I got two black things. I should put a black tank top on to try this on. Excuse me. All right, I didn't find a black tank top, but I found something with this that I no longer like, but it's just to try stuff on. Black skirt, mock wrap. What the hell did I just say? The elastic is not, look, <clears throat> yeah, the elastic does not make me happy. I mean, I could make it high-waisted, I just wanted a black skirt, but um, yeah, this, no, it's not my favorite. Whoa, so bye bye I also bought black, are these the Palazzo pants and the other ones were, these are gauchos actually, gauchos. I enjoy gauchos, I have several pair of jean gauchos. Let's see, I don't know, these might be a little short, we'll see. Excuse me, st don't look. All right, the elastic in these is way better. Actually, it's not elastic, it's just tight material, which it's just the length that I'm not sure about. I mean, really, what was I expecting? I don't know, the, I don't know if I like this puffiness. We'll have to see, I don't know. I don't wanna go to the big mirror right now. Another skirt, it is a kind of mustard yellow, orangish. 
and I believe I spent 117 at Charlotte Russe. So why don't you just never mind that black skirt? Just pretend you never saw it. And uh, just the rest was $100. Okay, excuse me. So this is kind of clingy, but it's cute. Let's see. It's long enough, which is great. Obviously, I wouldn't wear this shirt with it. Seriously, why? I, I don't even like this. Let's do that. Now I feel naked. It's clingier than I like, and I was trying to get away from the skirts that, you know, were just straight down, you know, that were in fashion a while back. And I think with this one, I thought this would classify the skirt as being different, but I don't know. There's that butt again. I don't know what color I'd wear it with. You could only really wear it with black or white, huh? Black's okay. I think if you wear it in the evening, you're good to go, but yeah, black or white, that's it. Pair of jeans, again, size nine. These were so cute on the website. You know what they look a lot like are those jeans that I tried on in the what $100 buys you at American Eagle. Yeah, yeah, the bottom is even the same. Those did not fit me. So let's try these. I might be striking out with the jeans. I put my leg in here. It's tight, it's really tight. I don't like tight legs. I like to be able to move around it, which is weird that they're tight because I have very skinny chicken legs. So it really, hinders movement. They were cute on the site, of course they were, because, and this is no good. Okay, buy jeans. Next we have a dress. It's a skater dress that I am not sure is age appropriate. Let's see. I just thought it was so cute, the pattern. I think it's too short, so there's no way of knowing until I try it on, but be cute for Ava, right? All right. Let's do it. I think I need to take my, oh no, I guess not. It's fun, but it's too young. Put some tennis shoes on. Now this dress was $15. So I think it was a bargain, but uh, it's cute. Oh man. No pockets. Wait. No pockets. Look. You gotta slip. You have to leave now. Okay, goodbye. I love you. Bye, guys. It's really cute, but maybe Ava will like it. I hate these things. Now, let's see if I could wear it without a bra. Oh, that's so much better. So, yeah, no bra. It would work. Could be tighter if I had no bra to keep these babies up. Okay, so I have to sit down now. And we need to talk about this haul. All right, so there it was. That was fun. Not really. So the two pairs of jeans, both were a bust. I just didn't feel that they were flattering whatsoever. And I need another pair of jeans. Like I need pretty much nothing. So those went back. The black gaucho style pants, they went back. They were too short, not flattering either. And just not for me. The orangish yellow skirt. It was cute. It was too clingy. As cute as that front tie was, and I really liked the color, it just wasn't something that I wanted to, you know, hug my lumpy bits. No, that one went back as well. Pretty good so far, right? The pink beachy pants. I think you can tell right when I tried those on, they were also ill-fitting, just you know, straight up and down, except for after the elastic. It was all no good. So those pants also went back. Lastly, that red skater dress. As cute as that was, and as much as I liked how it was made and the colors of it, it just wasn't something that I was going to wear. And Ava tried it on later, and it looked darling on her, but she didn't want it either, so that also went back. Basically, Charlotte Ruse was a big fat zero 
as far as keeping anything. And it's a shame because when I went to the actual store to return every single item, there was actually a lot of cute stuff there. And if I had the energy, I might have shopped and tried a few things on, but I am just going to move on to other stores. Again, Charlotte Roos, the store looked great, very organized. Our Charlotte Roos here is in our outlet mall. And as big of a mess that that place could have been, it was very well organized and tidy. So you guys, that's it for this What $100 Buys You at Charlotte Ruse video. Yeah, I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something. I learned stuff, not very good stuff. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't already subscribed but would like to be, please hit that button down below and you'll see me very soon with more videos. Bye guys!